Craig and Stacy back at Hooters 290 and Pinemont again. Mike Vance uh, normally here, but uh, he's here in spirit and on tape. He's working the uh, crowd in Vegas. Uh, the Dynamo unbeaten in their last 10 games. They set an MLS record for holding the opposition scoreless for 695 minutes. And that is a big deal. Uh, not many soccer clubs can pull that off. Of course, this was also the week that uh, Beckham came over here, and, and you and Carl Dukes will uh, duke it out at that level. But I wanted to concentrate just briefly on the Dynamo. Unfortunately, they get the 0-0 zero -zero, uh, tie in their last outing against Toronto FC. And as always, I was in the uh, locker room after the game, and among those I talked to, uh, backup keeper Zach Wells, who's been a guest on our show, a delightful guy, doesn't eat much. He has you a lot of muscle. You get to go to the locker room? Yes, I do. Why did we switch? Thrill. You should have interviewed Anna Kornikova last week, and I should get to go to the locker room. I know. I agree. But I didn't want to be one of these obvious situations where I'm sitting there staring at an attractive young lady and possibly I want to be in that position my, where I'm sitting there staring at attractive lose, soccer players in the lose, locker room. Lose my... Uh, <laughs> concentration. concentration. Zach Wells. <laughs> I want you to finish your post-game meal. Well, I just want to let you know Eat that uh, both those carrots or whatever it is. that uh, that Stuart Holden will be up on MySpace once again, asking for goal of the week from from his goal on Thursday night on primetime. So check it out. Vote for Stuart. Our next game here on TV 55 is Sunday, and uh, it will be uh, at New England. And I think it's a 3 o'clock game. Yeah, it's a 3 o'clock start. Uh, Charlie uh, Flillo and Glenn Davis will have the pregame at 2.30. And then uh, the kickoff at 3 o'clock on TV 55. Of course, both those guys also have radio shows on 790. So uh, there's a 790 con connection. And I know that you talk almost daily with Carl Dukes. Almost daily. Part of the Davies and Dukes show. And Davies is not here again. But you guys talk soccer today? We sure did. He's a big Hot fan. Soccer. Yeah, he's a big fan of soccer. I know he's so the British invasion is coming. I, I don't know. That's what they're calling it. It's David Beckham and Hot Spice. They're married. He's coming over to play in the MLS. It's a big deal. And i got to be honest with you. It's not going to help soccer. I'm sorry. Look, what? I'm just telling you, soccer is a fun sport. It's good for the kids when they're little to run them to death and then bring them home and put them to bed. But the reality is, this guy coming over making $250 million over five years, it's not going to grow soccer. You're not the owner of this team for a reason. Look, people want to go to soccer. They want to be entertained. The women are going to want to go to soccer. Well, maybe, to look, maybe a few more women go. Because and they're going to take all their kids. Huh? And they're going to take all their kids with them just because they, that's why they're saying they're going. Just because, because this guy's they in a magazine. Take the kids soccer, but they want to see David Beckham without a shirt on. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got what, like, like a 9-pack, a 12-pack or something sure like that? Sure does. Yeah, I've got a 16-pack, You got right? a keg, brother. But listen. You got a keg. That's not going to help. <laughs> help soccer. I'm just telling you. Yes, it People will. People want to watch David Beckham and then want to go out oh, and I'm play soccer. I'm going to watch. It's I'm just not going to happen. They don't care about wanting to go out and play. They just want tickets. They want ticket sales. Well, let me tell you something, though. I will tell you this. Now, what will help soccer is if he brings Posh to the stadium and she runs around in those little short shorts she had on in that, no, that W Magazine spread she was in. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I don't think so. I'm right. just telling you right now. Look. Let's talk about this in a six months, and, and, and you tell me how many more people like, like MLS and, and like soccer. But, uh, I'm sorry. Are you an intern? <laughs> me? Are you an intern here? Are you getting any college credits for doing this? Can we get a picture of beer over here? Yeah, that Carl, he uh, puts the kids in the car and sends them to a soccer game every time. Carl, <laughs> shame on you. I love this sport. I really do. Uh, I'm on 790 also, reshuffling. It's uh, completing my second week. I'm on 10 to 11, Monday through Friday on 790, the sports animal. I follow Davies and Dukes, and I'm right before the monsters of the midday. I tape the show. Do you? I TiVo your radio show. Good girl. I do. All right. Uh, Debbie Clemens is back with us again this week. Her husband uh, still lumbering through life, uh, playing baseball. I don't know when he's going to get a real job, but when he does, he'll be a better golfer. Hi, Craig and Mike. How are you today? We're out here today at Wildcat with Bruce, and we're going to do lots of great tips and improve my putting because I really do love this putter. I don't want to have to buy a new one. Last week we solved the mystery to the short putts. Today we're going to solve the riddle to the long putts. Three putts is too many. That's why you want to look at long putts. Yeah. You want to get them down in two. Okay. To do that, we have to get correct distance control on the first putt. Solidness of contact. 
Okay. First priority. Second priority is what we do before we hit the putt. Pre-putt preparation. We want to make sure we get in tune with where the hole is and the distance between the golf ball and the hole. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to settle in behind the golf ball with our pre-shot routine. We're going to get set up, good grip, good posture, good ball position. We're going to make several practice whatever it takes to get a feel for getting the ball to roll the proper distance from here to the hole. We're going to do that with our eyes fixed on the hole, practice strokes, feeling the putter swinging back and through, evenly on both sides with our eyes out there. We're going to walk in over the golf ball. We're going to repeat the process once or twice until we absolutely feel like we've dialed in the correct stroke. We're going to get it up to the correct distance, make the second putt as easy as possible. Yeah, the little tap in. A little tap. I like the tap in. Once again, we're going to line it up. Those quick practice strokes, unless you have the intention of hitting the ball with that quick stroke, that's a hindrance. And you want the pace that your putter head's moving now to replicate the pace that you want the putter head to move when you're actually hitting the putt. There you go. That leaves you about a foot and a half left of the hole. When we have our three putts, we're four feet short, five feet long, like those guys in the studio. That's much better. Nice pace, foot and a half to the left, you can handle that one. I want those all day long. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm getting very happy about my putting. And uh, with that, you know, I have Jacket Happy. And we have some new handbags. You might want to check them out. They're very glitzy with some rhinestones, uh, some new jackets for the fall. So you can go to JacketHappy.com. And we'll see you later. This week's golf tip brought to you by your Houston area Ford dealer. Here's this week's trivia question. I can't believe Mike's in Vegas and I'm not. But here's the trivia question. What hotel is Mike staying at in Vegas? Send your answers to Sock Trivia at the tube.net and don't forget to put Hooters Bucks in the subject line if you want to win $50 in Hooters Bucks.